besties. Long time no Princess Polly haul. Honestly, I was banging out Princess Polly hauls left, right and centre towards like the summer last year. And then all of a sudden, I haven't given you a Princess Polly haul in ages. It's about damn time that I gave you guys one. So thank you so much to Princess Polly for actually sending over the items for this video. Princess Polly hold a special place in my heart. Their stuff is just the best. I love it so, so much. With over 150 new styles added every single week, there's definitely something for everybody on Princess Polly, and that is why I love it so much. I'm always being asked about the custom situation with Princess Polly. But honestly, do not stress. 20% VAT will be payable at checkout, so you'll have no surprise costs, no shock charges when your order arrives. Princess Polly also offer free express shipping to the UK on orders over £40. And finally, they have very kindly given me a discount code which is emilyxx and that will get you 20% off your entire order on princess polly but i will leave everything in the description box below so we've got a bit of a is it small or is it big i don't know like medium sized haul today so i'm just gonna get started i'm gonna start with this hoodie and jogger set um which is the aria straight leg track track tra aria straight leg track pants I got these in a UK 8 and I got the hoodie. And the hoodie is the Calder Zip hoodie in green and I also got this in a UK size 8. Obviously I will insert a trial clip for you guys. I do not need any more tracksuits. I think we all know that by now. Like my wardrobe is just full of tracksuits. But I saw this one and I could not help myself. I just thought this is going to be the nicest like airport cosy tracksuit. Do you know what I mean? And I don't really have many coloured tracksuits. Everything I wear is beige and neutral which I love so much. But I thought it was time to spice things up a little bit and add a little bit of colour into my wardrobe. So I went for this green one. Quality is so nice. It's like this fleece lined tracksuit. The bottoms are wide leg, but not too wide that like they look too big, if you know what I mean. Because I did size up in this, but I feel like the fit of it looks really, really nice. Obviously the hoodie I can wear with leggings. The joggers I can wear with a little bodysuit. Mix and match. I love a tracksuit. So many different ways to style them and wear them. And I know I'm going to be living in this. The hoodie is the perfect like oversizedness. Is that even a word? I'm glad I sized up because it's like, it fits exactly how I would want it to. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm obsessed with this. I love it so much. Next I picked up the Harmony sweater in beige in a small slash medium. Sorry, my phone's going off, that's a bit rude. This is the Harmony sweater in beige in a small slash medium. Kind of wish I went for medium slash large in this. I wasn't sure how like big and oversized it was gonna be. So I opted for the smaller size and I wish I'd sized up, but it's fine. It still looks really, really cute. And not everything I wear needs to be huge. I need to get that into my brain. Like, if, if it's not massively oversized, I'm like, oh, it's too small. No, hun, it's not. It looks nice. It looks neat. It looks tidy. Not everything needs to be huge. Do you know what I mean? The reason I saw this was because it was in a blue colour. And, oh, my God, I love the blue so much. But, realistically, am I going to wear blue as much as I'm going to wear beige? No. To be honest, I'm not. Um, so, I opted for beige just because I thought... I would get more wear out of it. I can wear it in spring. I can wear it in winter. You know, it's going to be like a transitional piece. The sleeves on this are so gorgeous. Look how nice these are. So the wrists are like completely like tight, but the it like balloons out. I just thought it was so so cute. I'm such a sucker for knitwear as well. You guys know I live in knitwear. And with some jeans, some leather trousers. I always say with leather trousers. I don't even own any leather trousers, so I don't know why that's always in the top of my mind but I did style this with a pair of denim shorts and a brown leather jacket which is also from Princess Polly um I just thought this was really cute super basic but super cute quality is insane like this is weighted like this is a heavy jumper this is gonna last me forever like this will be in my wardrobe for winters to come it's just gonna be a staple for me like I love it the other reason that I didn't pick it up in blue is because I did actually pick up this cardi now this is a bit different from this well it's not even different from me do you know what it is Everyone really gets surprised with the things I wear. So, like, I am such a basic neutral girl, but then I just love really random things like this. Um, I actually do have a Cardi from Princess Polly already, which is, like, multicoloured. And I wore it so much last summer that I just felt like I had to get this blue one. So, I opted for the beige jumper because I got the blue Cardi. Do you know what I mean? So, this is the Leicester Knit Cardigan in blue in a small slash medium. I wore this at the weekend with my mum and dad. We went away. Um, and my mum was just like, that's just so not you, and she's right, it just so isn't me, but at the same time, I just love it. Just for being cosy, like, around the house, it's so snuggly, it's heavy, but it's not too hot. Because it's got holes in the knit, like, it's got air, 
air holes like you can breathe in it like it's actually really really nice quality is gorge with some black leggings and a little crop top with some denim shorts and a crop top i already know this is going to get worn probably more in summer than it is in autumn winter just because of the color of it um if you follow me on instagram you would have seen me wearing the other princess poly cardigan so much last summer but this one is just gorge i just love the two different blue tones and yeah this is the sort of thing my child is going to be dressed in big cozy knitted cardigans Okay, moving on to things that are definitely more me, more classic me. Um, I haven't got the labels in these only because I have actually worn them both and I couldn't get away with keeping the label in and wearing it, do you know what I mean? So we've got this um, green slinky like long sleeve top. Um, I have literally worn this so much. It is such a gorgeous top. The quality is insane. It fits like a glove. But it doesn't show all your lumps and bumps, which sometimes I find like if you get a slinky tight top, you can see all the bits you don't want to see. No, this is so flattering. Gorgeous colour. It's like a sage green. Oh no, I've actually stained it. Luckily it's on the back, but there is a little stain on it. Um, like I said, I haven't taken this off. I've worn it to dinner. I've worn it to... Oh, that's probably from the sunbed, isn't it? Never mind. Um, I knew I would get a lot of wear out of this when I chose it. But I've actually worn it more than I thought I was going to wear it. It just fits really, really, really nicely. And I've not found like a nice slinky top that's quality is as good as this. Um, and then I also picked it up in this like navy blue colour. Sorry, I have also worn this one. So it's it's inside out. I'm never prepared, am I, for these hauls. You'd think I'd learn by now. Um, so I'm not sure what this one's called. By the way, I got them both in the UK size 6. But this is like a navy version of that top and this one also does have thumb holes which i love i love having my tops like come over my wrists like to my fingers and having thumb holes just makes that so much more like easy and natural but yeah basically it's exactly the same as the other top it does have a slightly different neckline so this one's like thick and this one is more thin but the actual top is pretty much exactly the same super stretchy super flattering nice and tight can't see any nips or anything through it it's not see-through at all it's just the nicest like material it's such a slinky fabric and i really really like that it's just comfortable to wear also on the camera it's coming up as quite like a bright blue but it's actually not it's quite like a muted navy it's really hard to explain everything will be linked down below anyway for you guys so you can definitely um check them out online and see what they actually really look like Picked up a pair of jeans because I'm on the hunt for my perfect pair of jeans. I don't know what it is with my body shape, but I just struggle with jeans so much. And these ones fit really, really nicely. So I got these in a UK 6. And they are the Bacali Wide Leg Jeans in Light Wash. The perfect shade of denim for me. Like, this is this is what I was after. This light blue wash that isn't, like, acidy. It isn't too bright. It isn't, like, fake denim. It looks like a really nice denim. They are very wide leg at the bottom. Maybe slightly more wide leg than I'd usually go for but I think once I've got shoes on it'll actually be fine my favourite thing about Princess Polly denim is this little brown leather patch on the back every piece of denim I've got from Princess Polly has this and I just love it so much I feel like it just adds just a little something to the jean but it just makes them look so expensive but yeah they fit perfectly around the waist like the, le the waist to thigh ratio is spot on for me I really struggle with that in jeans but yeah, quality is insane, absolutely love them. And I feel like these are going to be my new staple, most worn pair of jeans. Then went for this little like, I don't even know what it is. What would you call this? Another jumper maybe? It's called the Rick Jumper White and Beige. And I got this in a UK 8. So the model was actually wearing this with a pair of white shorts, high socks, and then like bouncy, chunky trainers, like a New Balance pair of trainers. And the whole outfit, I was just like, yes, I need to be on a shopping day in London in spring wearing that exact outfit little beige bag sunglasses like I could just vision the whole thing in my head I just need to get some white shorts um but I love this so much so this this style isn't usually me but the color it's just me all over so it's like a v-neck with a collar and then it's long sleeved and then waffle material I also thought this could be really nice for holiday for like when you go down for breakfast pop it on with a pair of white shorts and then you've got like a little cover up while it's still a little bit chilly. But it's so cute. I really, really love this. It just fits really nicely as well. I'm glad I got it in an 8 because it's not too oversized. But it's definitely like oversized enough. And I really just wish I had some white shorts to try this on with. I already know I'm going to love that outfit so much. And I then picked up this black leather jacket which I do already have in brown. And I've never had so many questions about a jacket ever in my life. Every time I wear it everyone's like where's that jacket from? Where's that jacket from? Guys, it's Princess Polly. Um, it's the Staten Island. I think that's how you say it. 
um, jacket in black and I got this one in a small all I would say is this one actually feels a lot bigger than the brown one I don't know why I don't know if it's still because it's quite stiff like it needs a little bit of wearing in I have had that brown one for a really really long time now so it's like quite flexible and bendy and like you know comfy to wear um, but this one's really quite stiff I have got the brown one here to show you like I don't know if you can see but like this one's really like floppy and just sort of I don't know this one's just really quite rigid and hard I think it does just need wearing um, but it's so nice I really really love it the, di the only difference as well between the black one and the brown one the brown one's like hardware is silver and then the black ones is black which I really really like because it like blends in you can't see it I don't think I've ever had a black leather jacket that didn't have like silver accents even the buckle on the belt is like a matte black and I really really like that love this jacket so much it is more of an expensive jacket however it's worth every single penny guys like the amount of wear I've had out of my brown one and I already know I'm going to get the same wear out of the black one and it's got so much wear in it like this is going to last me years it goes with everything it's just a perfect leather jacket I love them both so much actually saying that this one does feel a bit heavy maybe maybe they've changed it I'm not sure but those are the two jackets and I'm obsessed with them both. I absolutely love them. But yeah, that is everything that I picked up from Princess Polly, guys. I hope you have enjoyed watching and seeing what I've got. Of course, I will link everything down below in the description box for you. Um, if you do pick up anything, let me know because I love seeing what people buy. Like, I just, it just makes me so happy. Um, but yeah, again, thank you so much to Princess Polly for sending over the items. And I'll see you guys very soon for another video. Ciao! Mm -hmm.